How do you guys, gals? My name is Joycey, and we're back with some more Tiny Bunny. Now, how did you guys enjoy those last few episodes without any volume? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stupid me. I started doing some testing with some stuff to do, you know, some other little projects. And, you know, they fell through. And I forgot to change my settings. So, um... Yeah, that's why there was no volume for the last few games. It just wasn't recording. Hopefully it works now. We'll find out. Uh, if you hear something in the next few minutes that it worked, if you hear just random ambient music or something, then it didn't. So uh, with all that, let's just get into it. Last episode, if you didn't see, we went outside, we had a little adventure outside, and we got chased back indoors. We found we found some mitten filled with blood. It, like, you know, painted our hands all red and stuff. We got scared, ran away, something was chasing us. Something was also rooting us, like, rooting us on, like, yeah, go on, you can make it, woo! So, maybe there's some nice animals or something. Nice things? I don't know. But let's just get into it. We're probably about to get our shit kicked in by a mum. <laughs> so let's just see. Alright. Porch planks creaked as my pursuers ascended the stairs. My fingers slipped off the lock and I couldn't click it into place. Oh fuck. Oh no. They're about to get in. I... Oh. Alright. There we go. Beg your pardon. I gritted my teeth and pulled hard on the iron knob. Oh my god. <laughs> Beg your pardon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whipping it between the boards. Wiping it between the boards? Oh god. I start I stared blankly at the door. Someone was standing on the other side of that pitiful of the pitiful flimsy barrier that was probably less useful than blankets. Wheezing and breath reached into the house and crashed at me in waves. It smelled of pine and sweat. Mum peeked out of the kitchen and chastised me with the same frigid voice she always used when talking to Dad. What exactly didn't you understand when I told you to never slam the door? She's not going to question us like going outside? Yeah. I, I didn't mean to. I snuck a glance at the door. The smell was gone, and the breath was the breath was too. If there was someone in the first place, of course. If there was someone in the first place, of course. He he here here mere five meters away from Mum. My fear was slowly weakening, melting like snow in spring, and with it the last bit of strength I had left in my body too. So he just passed out. Oh, she's missed. She got rid of her apron. My legs gave way. I propped myself up against the wall so I wouldn't fall over. Mum's expression had changed immediately. The cold mask of strictness and detachment was gone. Mum looked the same as before all those quarrels. She finally saw my condition. My wet pants plastered with snow. Where have you been? God, I'm sorry, Mum. Where, where have you been? <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? I told you to stay home. Am I nothing to you too? Oh, she feel like she feels like nothing. Oh God, I got afraid she would cry. I reached out to her like when I was very little and wanted her to cuddle me. But Mum regained her composure fast and put on her usual face. Oh God, here we go. She's gonna fucking punch us right in the head. <laughs> her eyes shine like steel. Her voice rang out. What's the cigarette you dropped? Your dad can't find his cigarettes! Признавайся, ты их стащил. What? Курить бегаешь. Oh, <laughs> Be honest! Did you snatch them? Were you smoking in secret? Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. Там... Там за мной кто-то гнался. <laughs> Where are we меня... smoking? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> of course we were! God! It's fucking cold! We need to heat up our insides. <laughs> there was someone chasing me. I, I thought. I shuddered as, as soon as I started explaining myself. I stuttered. God, tears welled up in my eyes. Mum leaned towards me and sniffed my clothes like a beast, searching for the smell of tobacco. 
Then she squinted her eyes in suspicion and looked into the front yard. Her expression changed in an instant as she covered her mouth with her hand. Look over there, at the fence! My heart started thumping as if I became prey once again and my pursuers were following me into the field! I could swear that I've heard something scratch at the door, just like in my nightmare. Oh god, did the kid actually follow us? Was the kid actually there? Mum beckoned me with her finger and I gathered all my remaining bravery to look into the kitchen window, facing my fear. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, God. I could barely discern some hairy silhouettes swimming in snow through the icy winter patterns on the glass. So we were chased by a bunch of doggies. And we almost got fucking killed. Huh? Dogs. Just a small pack of strays with no name and owner. Barely reminding of, barely reminding of the hunger monsters that live on the edge of the forest. Oh, I don't like that smile you're giving, lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh boy! Were you scared of them? I think they'd rather be scared of you, Anton! They're chasing me like a bunny. Yeah, something grabbed my fucking ankle and tried to pull me down. <laughs> Jesus. And what if they're rabid? Yeah, get rid of that fucking smile. <laughs> the smile had slowly disappeared from Mum's face. Now she, now she looked at the dogs as if it was her first time seeing them. What if they attack Olya? Mom. Mom, are we gonna just kick open the door and just <laughs> just take them out? Huh? Or are we gonna tame them? We should we should take it to shoot, shoot them all. Oh God, she's serious. <laughs> Mama, они живые. Oh, look, they're alive. А что? А? What? Ты уж определись, они тебе друзья или враги? Are you a friend or foe after all? Make up your mind. Не маленький ведь уже. You're not a little kid anymore. <laughs> Mum sighed in annoyance, and I felt so bitter that I, that I bit my lower lip and fixed my gaze on the cobweb-ridden corner. Well. Some detective I am. Yeah, we fucking caved in very quickly and ran away. In reality, I wasn't risking my life among monsters, but rather my pants among a pack of stupid strays. <laughs> hey, we could have got a bunch of, like, pats and stuff, you know? Well, we could have pat them a bunch. And what for? What use do I have for this mitten? Of course, the dark and sticky mitten that belonged to the lost boy who made a squishy sound in my head. <laughs> God, seems like I was clutching in the whole time. That's my trump card as a detective. I hurry to the present. This clue to my mum. Oh, this is not a thing. Mum, look, this is Bulma's mitten. The boy, the, the boy the police were asking about this morning. It looks like something else now. Let me just grab someone. Let me just grab, like. Do we rip the wolf's, like, stomach out? I don't. I, I can't imagine anything else. Just imagine something. <laughs> it's drenched in blood. I found it hanging on a tree. I can show you where. Let's call the police right away, like the officer had told us to. Mom, Mom look! Look! Look, Mom! Look! Look! <laughs> Just like, shove it right in her face. <laughs> a shadow of doubt slowly crept into Mom's contorted face. My son's a fucking... Idiot. <laughs> As if it were trying to remember something distant, like someone try, uh, like someone tries to remember their dream, but the image has slipped away. Stop it! This stop it! This moment! Оля, тебя услышит, с ума сойдет. Oh, yeah, go inside if, he, if she hears you. Она и так не спит. На все подряд жалуется. She only has trouble sleeping at once all the time. Еще и ты со своими шуточками. And you joke around like this? Oh, it's just a, it's my own bit. At the moment, I realized the mitten was actually wet from snow. <gasps> there was no blood whatsoever. I wanted to sink through the floor from embarrassment. Oh, no! <laughs> Over here, my boy who cried wolf. Oh, don't just stand there. Come take your pills. Oh, God. Okay, so what? a golden colored pill reminiscent of a dead wasp fell into my palm. I already took one during breakfast. 
Попререкайся мне еще. Don't talk over me. Сказала дома сидеть. Нет же. Told you to stay home and you. Был бы отец выпорол. Dad would have given you a good whipping for that. Сейчас же выпей, а то ночью не уснешь. Тебе ведь в школу завтра. Come on, take it, or you won't be able to sleep at night, and you have school tomorrow. So I had to, so I had to swallow, <laughs> so I had to swallow the bitter medicine, drink it down with simile awful water that gave off a taste of chlorine. Maybe it wasn't Volva's, Volva's mitten. Maybe it wasn't a mitten at all. Just like the forest monsters and Olya's owl. Am I going mad? <laughs> I think. Oh god. Oh fuck. We are. Oh god. What's happening to me? Did we just get drugged? Are you really our mother? <laughs> Either the pill had an imme in, uh, immediate effect, an effect, or my overexerted brain didn't let the fear inside anymore. Since serenity washed over me, bringing yawny indifference along with it. God, we just got Anton, drugged. Anton, we pill. Можешь, если захочешь. Anton, you done? See, you can do it when you try. Раздевайся. Уснул что ли? Take off your coat. Are you asleep? Нет, мам. Просто задумался. No, mom. I was just thinking. Интересно, о чем же? What I wonder? Так, глупости всякие. It's just something silly. Okay, what the heck? Mom scrutinized me with suspicious eyes. As if she wasn't sure she was looking at her own son and not some doppelganger that came from the forest. Точно все нормально. Is everything all right? У тебя такое лицо было, когда милиционер про окно спросил. You had the exact same expression when the policeman asked you about the window. Все нормально, мам. All right, mum. If you really are, mum. <laughs> she heaved a deep sigh. Хорошо. Fine. It seemed like the house had changed. The sofa's fabric had become discolored. Fingerprints appeared on the bathroom tiles. The light bulbs also felt different, dimmer and yellower. Even the saliva inside my mouth had a different taste. A melody from Aladdin could be heard from the upper floor. Olya was done rewatching uh, her favorite Little Mermaid episode episodes and switched to other tapes. I slowly changed into my home clothes. Home clothes? Stopped before the sink and studied my reflection in the mirror, like I was trying to solve one of those spot the difference puzzles. What's fucked up with my face? <laughs> then I then I went upstairs. Jafar's and Lago's voices died down. I walked past Ollie's bedroom and slipped into my own. Open. Okay. What? One of the drawers were empty. I hid the mitten there. Is it actually a mitten? It is a mitten. A simple action drained the last bit of strength from me. Oh god, we could have oh looked at some stuff. I sat on the bed. No, we could have looked at some shit in our room. God. And only then I noticed there was someone behind the curtains. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My tired hand dropped to the sheets. Whether it was due to medication I took or the stress I underwent, uh, the room began to contort as if the wind was blowing the walls out like a pair of sails. The room's corners bent and undulated. The only stable thing in the whole room was the figure between the windowsill and the curtains. The flimsy piece of cloth was stuck to my window... Uh, was stuck to my hidden visitor. <laughs> Why don't I read window? <laughs> Jeez. Just like a servant, a savant of sorts. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? God, are you gonna, is it gonna be Ollie again and then it's gonna be fucking... She's gonna be working with the demon once more and jump scare us? Who else would be... Who else would be standing there? I stood up and licked my dried up lips. Оля, очень смешно. Yeah, Оля, it's so funny. <laughs> the silhouette was unmoving. It was enveloped softly by the curtains. As if there was a thick layer of darkness there. Not a human being. I reached towards the curtains. But dum ba dum Beat my heart. Controlled my medication. The wind sang in the field with a chorus of voices. For a second, I wanted to return to bed. Just lie down and watch the person behind the curtain, knowing full well they were looking back at me. I couldn't fall asleep like that, even if I was drugged. <laughs> They're looking without blinking, waiting for me to fall asleep. Plastic rings rustled against the holder when I pulled up the open the curtains. 
Oh. Bavosa. It fucking was. It was that fucking motherfucker. <laughs> it fucking was. God damn it. Gotcha. Oh, what was her voice? Gotcha. <laughs> I guess it's just... Я сразу понял, что это ты. Knew it was you from the beginning. You think you're so funny. Yeah, that's right. I hope I made you feel bad. <laughs> a blinding bright halo lit up above Olya's head with the setting sun as the background. My sister was shining. When she was just a baby, Dad always used to say she was a sh she was shining with happiness. I always retorted, but Dad... Uh, but Dad, she's not some flashlight. <laughs> Olya the flashlight. That's a new name now. But I brought her to the window one day and sunlight poured on her smiling face. I felt like I was holding a child woven from light. Oh god, she see fucking she see us get chased by some shit? <laughs> I saw everything! Oh really? What did you hide? Oh god, do we have a backup like a like a Robin? Is she gonna be our Robin? She was just like my mum when she was little, before she put on her sad mask of tiredness and switched to her commanding tone of voice. Ничего, просто... It's nothing, just... Oh, he ran up to the table, her eyes round, and asked... Ты что-то украл и теперь прячешь? <laughs> you stole something and hid it there! Ты вот? Are you a thief? <laughs> Что? Глупо. What? Don't be stupid. Ничего я не крал. I didn't steal anything. A clear image came to mind, that mitten hanging from the tree branch. Oh god, maybe I did steal it. Maybe I stole it from the tree. <laughs> what if I did steal it after all? From the forest, from the tilted figure standing behind the black trees. Oh, you could be selfish and stubborn when she wanted. And show me! Swear, swear that you won't tell anyone, then? Then I'll show you, huh? Oh, you wore a pouting smile. Plotting smile. Oh god, that looks fucking creepy, man. I don't like it when they smile in this game. The <laughs> mum too. That's fucking scary, man. I swear, I swear on mum's heart. Oh god, she even have a heart anymore? She's like fucking cold all the time. An oath she heard in one of the movies about the pioneers we've watched. Don't say things like that. Oh, you nodded and made a gesture with a hand, locking her mouth with an imaginary key. Okay, she was filled with curiosity that was splashing in her giant eyes. I was about to think, like, say, was the mitten actually there? Were we really holding a mitten? I opened the drawer and Olya leaned in, holding her breath. <gasps> it looked like there was not just a simple mitten, but some sort of exotic critter. Is, is this someone's mitten? She said that as if she couldn't understand what she saw. So boy lost it and got lost himself. Now do you understand how dangerous a uh, dangerous it is for kids to wander off into the forest, right? Huh? Huh? He must be really cold out there. Yeah, his one hand, <laughs> his one hand is missing the mitten. His other hand is perfectly fine. <laughs> Will they find him? They will. The police are going, uh, going house to house, showing his photo to everybody. Olya traversed the, the room with care and pressed her tiny palms against the window. And why are they going to the houses and not the forest? Oh god, I'm not reading her voice! Oh shit! Ah, uh, oh, they're scared! <laughs> God, the question caught me off guard. Милиционеры ничего не боятся. The police aren't scared of anything. I, I hope, <laughs> unless they've seen the fucking monsters, then they, <laughs> then they might have a reason to be scared. I don't know, but they got cats. It'll be right. It'll be right, Olya. Okay, don't worry. Guns solve everything. Sort of. Unless, uh, when it comes to monsters, they solve everything. <laughs> I don't know. Oh God. All right. This, this is it. This is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> I don't. I don't know, like, is this story just about two kids just hallucinating? Maybe they have some, like, underlying issue, maybe with their grandma dying. Like, just imagining stuff and the pills just calm us down. I don't know. It's, it's a bit, yeah. I'm interested to see what happens. I'm interested to see what happens. I want to know if they're actually monsters or it's just some crazy shit. I mean, there is a kid that's stolen, so there possibly is some sinister shit going on. I don't know. Um, let me know down in the comments. Let me know. What do you, what do you think's happening? Uh, is there actually some sinister stuff? 
or do you think that we are just you know we're just making everything up uh, at the moment it seems like we're just making everything up maybe try to trying to get attention attention from our mummy and maybe our daddy um yeah i don't know with all that hope you guys enjoyed remember like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one boo, 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 boo.